Recently, a study was published in the journal named Nano Today, revealing that nanoplastics have entered the human food chain through plants, insects, and fish. So, before we move forward about the nanoplastics, let us have a look at what is nanotechnology. Nanotechnology refers the branch of science and engineering devoted to designing, producing, and using structures, devices, and systems by manipulating nanoatoms and molecules at nanoscale, that is, having one or more dimensions of the other of 100 nanometer, which is 100 millionth of a millimeter or less. Now, let us see what are nanoplastics. Nanoplastics are the plastic debris particles that are smaller than 1000 nanometer which is equal to 1 billionth of a meter because of their minuscule size nanoplastics are capable of passing through physiological barriers and enter different organisms through the food chain these particles were detected and measured in organisms by researchers of the University of Eastern Finland. The researchers used a novel metallic fingerprint based method to a model food chain that has three tropic levels. Tropic level is the position an organism occupies in the food chain. For this research, lettuce, black soldier fly and an insectivorous fish were used. Lettuce plants which are leafy plants were exposed to nanoplastics from commonly found plastic waste in the environment which is polycytrine and polyvinyl chloride nanoparticles through contaminated soil. This lettuce plant was harvested and fed to black soldier fly larva which is used as a source of protein for children and cattle in many countries. The black soldier fly was then fed to the rosher fish which is commonly found in fresh and brackish waters and sometimes consumed or used as a bait. From this experiment, researchers have found that nanoplastics from the contaminated soil have traveled from the lettuce plant to the fish. The nanoplastics stayed in the mouth and gut of black soldier fly despite allowing it to empty its gut for 24 hours. This shows that nanoplastics pose significant health hazard to herbivores and humans by entering into their bodies and stayed there. Currently, agriculture soil is receiving microplastics from various sources like atmospheric decomposition, irrigation using wastewater, usage of sewage sludge for agriculture purposes and use of mulching films. Now, let us have a look at the application of nanotechnology. The science of nanoparticles and their applications have brought about a new technological revolution that has transformed all aspects of research, need and business. So let us now discuss about the top 5 applications of nanoparticles. Number 1. Accessible and Affordable Clean Water Accessible and affordable clean water is produced by new water technology where the wonder material graphene is used. Graphene absorbs, sieves and filters of almost all kinds of contamination like heavy metal iron, pesticide microbes, etc. in water. The nanomaterial is used, also used in water treatment technologies, atmospheric water harvesters and desalination plants to produce safe water. Secondly, Climate changes. Nanosensors and nanorobots are used to monitor climate changes like air pollution, water pollution, soil change, rainfall measurement, detection of pollutant sources, seawater level rise measurement, create pollution maps, collect samples from natural habitats, etc. Number 3. Energy generation. Photocatalyst nanoparticles are also used to harvest light energy to produce a cleaner form of hydrogen. Solar energy comes clean and at an affordable cost owing to the nanoparticles used in the photovoltaic cells that convert solar energy into usable energy. Number 4. Medicines Nanoparticles are playing a major role in providing good health and well-being. The applications of nanoparticles in medicine are ancient. Gold bhasma are also known to have curative properties in Ayurvedic medicine for various ailments. Recently, they also explored for targeted drug delivery therapy, especially for the disease like cancer. Nanoparticles also have brought a leap in medical diagnostic technology. DNA wrapping single walled carbon nanotubes are synthetic nanoparticles that act as optical biosensors. And the last, number five, 
information storage. Digital quantum batteries are storing energy and information in a novel way using nanoparticles and nanovacuum tube arrays that enhance the efficiency and fabricate low-cost options. That's on today's session. See you soon.